The Bijapur Fort is located in the Bijapur city in Bijapur district of the Indian state of Karnataka. Bijapur Fort has a plethora of historical monuments of architectural importance built during the rule of Adil Shahi dynasty. The Adil Shahi Sultans who ruled for nearly 200 years in Bijapur had expended their utmost authority, almost exclusively, on architecture and the allied arts. Each Sultan endeavored to excel his predecessor in the number, size, or splendor of his building projects. As a result, the buildings seen in and around Bijapur Fort and the town have been rightly called as the Agra of South India. The rich history of the fort, the citadel and other structures is subsumed in the history of Bijapur city, which was established in the 10th 11th centuries by the Kalyani Chalukyas. It was then known as Vijipura, city of victory. The city came under the influence of the Khalji Sultanate in Delhi by the late 13th century. In 1347, the area was conquered by the Bamni Sultanate of Gulbarga. By this time, the city was being referred as Bijapur or Bijapur. Yusuf Hadil Shah, son of Murad II, the Sultan of Turkey had joined the Bidar court of the Sultanate in 1481 under the then Sultan Muhammad III. He had been purchased as slave by Mahmud Gavan, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom. He was later, in 1481, appointed as the governor of Bijapur for his loyalty and bravery shown in the active defense of the Sultanate. The fort and the citadel or Arkilla and the Farukh Mahal were built by him with the skilled architects and artisans whom he had inducted into his employment from Persia, Turkey, and Rome. Yusuf declared himself independent of Sultan's rule and thus established the Adil Shahi dynasty or the Bamni kingdom. In 1489, in 1482, the Bahamani Empire broke into five kingdoms and Bijapur Sultanate was one of them. Ibrahim Adil Shah, son of Yusuf Adil Shah by his Hindu wife Punji, daughter of a Maratha warrior, succeeded his father who died in 1510. Since he was a minor at the time of his father's death, there was an attempt to grab the throne, which was effectively thwarted by the timely intervention of his valiant mother fighting for her son's cause in a male attire. He then became the ruler of Bijapur Sultanate. He was instrumental in making further additions to the fort and also building the Jami Masjid within the fort. Ibrahim Adil Shah's successor Ali Adil Shah I forged an alliance with other Muslim rulers of the Deccan, other Shahi kingdoms of Ahmadnagar and Bidar. Ali built several structures in the fort and the city suburbs, such as the Gagan Mahal, Ali Roza, his own tomb, Chand the Bavari, a large well, and the Jami Masjid. Nephew Ibrahim too was crowned the king, but he was also a minor when he was crowned and his mother Chand Bibi effectively protected him, acting as the regent of Bijapur. Ibrahim, the fifth king of the dynasty of Bahmanis, was a tolerant and an intellectual king who forged a good relationship between Hindus and Muslims and also between Shia and Sunni Muslims in his kingdom and ushered harmony among the people of his kingdom. History has therefore titled him with the name of Jagdiguru Badshah. He ruled for 46 years. He also built Hindu temples within his palace precincts and composed verses dedicated to Saraswati, Hindu goddess of learning, and Ganpati, the Hindu god of wisdom. He was also a great patron of music and learning. He built the world-famous Golagumbas, the second biggest dome in the world with whispering galleries. During his reign, the historic Malliki Maidan, the gun position, was erected in the fort precincts. The gun is a massive arsenal of 4.45 meters, 14.6 feet, length, which is seen even now at the same location in a good condition. In the last decade of Adil Shah's power, when he fell sick, his wife Bariba is said to have ruled. After he died in 1646, his adopted son Ali Adil Shah too came to power but there were internal struggles for the reins of power. The dynasty's control thus weakened. Bijapur was greatly weakened after the defeat of Afzal Khan and his 10,000 man Bijapur forces by the Maratha ruler Shivaji, who had attacked Bijapur repeatedly and plundered it but later agreed to an armistice to consolidate his forces to capture Karnataka. But after Shivaji died, 
the Mughal led by Aurangzeb finally annexed the kingdom after the siege of Bijapur in the year 1686 that eventually ended with the death of Sikandar Adil Shah the last of the Adil Shahis. With T, his defeat, the 200-year rule of Adil Shahi dynasty ended and Bijapur Sultanate was incorporated into the Mughal Empire in 1686. During this period, Adil Shah had started building his mausoleum, called the Barakaman, but he died before he could complete it. Two centuries later, in 1877, during the British rule, due to scarcity, famine conditions, Bijapur city was found in a desolate and deserted state that was compared to similarly placed ruined cities of Baalbek in Bekaa Valley of Lebanon or Pompeiopolis in Rome. The palaces and tombs in the fort were in ruins. Bijapur was like the city of the dead, for there was no water or food in the city.